So this this girl is going to explain what shifting is for those of you who are not in the know. But it kind of took over the Internet and TikTok like I want to say like two or three years ago. It was a thing that was happening. It, it, it started somehow with Harry Potter. It, it's always a, a fantasy around. And I love fantasy. You know what I mean? I got these are all comic book. You know what I mean? All fantasy. It's pretty much all I read. But it started with people shifting to go into Hogwarts. Uh, you know what I mean? And like be. Uh, Harry Potter or hang out with Hagrid or whatever. And then just today, I saw there was an, a TikTok account who was a big shifter. And it was, uh, their username was Hagrid's CVM. But it was supposed to be Hagrid's cum, which is just a fucking wild name. But they came out and was like, hey, the whole thing is a fucking lie. I lied about everything. The, the, uh, uh, fucking whatever this thing is, isn't real. It's all a grift, right? And so then and then shift talk came back, baby, full force. They were like, who is this bitch? Why is she fucking outing us? And they're they're doubling down on shifting. So this is uh, let's see this girl. She's going to explain it. I woke up and chose violence. So today I'm going to be explaining reality shifting in 60 seconds. If you've always seen shifting on your for your page, but you don't know what it is. Hi, my name is Alexa and I'm going to teach you. Hi, Alexa. Hey, reality shifting is shifting your subconscious awareness from this reality to another. I want to start off by saying that there are two theories that shifters believe in. There is the consciousness theory and the multiverse theory, but I personally only believe and teach the multiverse theory. Obviously. The multiverse theory basically for obvious states reasons. that there is a reality for every outcome of every possible situation. So just like there's a reality where your entire life was the same except you scrolled past this video instead of watching it, there's a reality where you're a student at Hogwarts. Shifters usually use something called methods. You don't have to shift with the methods, but a lot There's another thing that I've noticed with sh with sh as I've been doing this research into shifting and, and shift talk is that it's like 99% women. It's all females. I don't know what that means. You know what I mean? And I can't really diagnose that because I'm not a psychologist. But there is an overwhelmingly female population to the shifting society and the shifting world. A lot of us like to shift with methods. There are just some steps that kind of help you get yourself into a meditative state. And shift your subconscious awareness from this reality to another. Shifting is not lucid dreaming. It's completely real. It's not a dream that you're in control of. It's what I just explained. There are awake methods and asleep methods. This is your CR or your current reality. And you're shifting to your DR or your desired reality. Okay, those are very important uh, things to know. Uh, Professor Penis, I think you need to dive further into that. Yeah, let me really examine the gender roles and shifting and, uh, and then get canceled like three days into streaming. That'll be a great idea. Okay, so that's kind of just the rough idea, right? The idea is you have to be, one, psychotic, two, a, f a girl, apparently. And you know what I mean? I love to the, you know what I mean? We love the we love our women here, but I'm just saying it is a lot of women. Uh, and then you have to shift to your, uh, what'd you say, DR. Is your CR is your current reality, and then the DR, your whatever, destination reality, whatever she just said. So you shift, and, and for some reason, too, it's always... So they, they say it's like this multiverse, right? And you're going to these places like uh, in, in a multiverse, anything is possible, right? So that's like an actual scientific theory. Anything that can happen will happen in an infinite uh, multiverse dimension where, you know, there's infinite possibilities. So the idea that there is a world where Hogwarts is real, right? <laughs> and they're choosing to go to that one. Oh, and then the other one is like the MCU, uh, the Marvel Cinematic Universe. That's another one you'll hear them talking about all the time. And it just kind of boggles, it's just funny and boggles my mind a little bit. I haven't seen one, and I've been watching, you know what I mean? And we'll watch together. And I've been really just feeding this shit into my brain. But I haven't seen one person who's shifting to like a reality that doesn't already have an IP. You know what I mean? It's like, it's all shit that we like. How come somebody's not coming back and be like, oh, there's this new place that has these new characters that nobody's ever heard of? It's always like Harry Potter, Marvel, uh, uh, like token universe or whatever. It's like, it seems weird that in the multiverse of infinite possibilities and realities, the only ones that they go to are ones that they, we already know about. Does that make sense? You know what I mean? It's like, if it was real, that you know, whatever. Oh, yeah, this is great. Okay. And they all, and le let's be honest, there's also a little bit, uh, yeah, is everything okay? there's a little bit of a, horse girl energy if you know what i'm saying again you know what i mean peace and love uh 
Oh, Forgotten Pea Bottle is in the freaking chat. Uh, what's going on? We're deep diving into Shift Talk right now, which is a, pl a place in the universe and on the internet. It's a special place where uh, apparently, and this is just my observation, mostly women, uh, shift to another dimension, which happens to be uh, worlds that already have an IP like uh, Harry Potter or the Marvel Cinematic Universe. So uh, thank you for chatting, Forgotten Pea Bottle. Uh, and if you could just give a little follow, just hit that follow button on the Twitch thing, you know what I mean? Because we love a follow here, folks. We're big follow people. Um, so yeah, we're going to, and they, like I just said, they have a little bit, they do have a little bit of a, a horse girl vibe going on. And peace and love to our horse uh, women, horse people uh, out there in the world. Talk. Uh, yeah, is everything okay? Oh, yeah, no, 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 don't worry. So, you know how yesterday we were talking about, like, the multiverse and this thing called reality shifting? Yeah, yeah, I remember. So there's actually a reason why I brought that up. I want to tell you that I shifted here. So you're like telling me you're from another universe or something? Yeah. I mean, yeah, literally. Kind of, but yeah. Okay. Okay. I know it's hard to. Oh, by the way, great acting chops. And I don't want to go too because I don't know these people might be like 16, 17, you know what I mean? So I'm not going to go in, you know, too hard on them. Uh, but maybe we could spice up the two different characters because the two characters, and this is just um, uh, uh, constructive criticism from somebody. I'd acted, you know what I mean? I was the face of Ben and Jerry's and Sally Mae, got paid, and I could give her a little, you know what I mean? I haven't booked a gig for like three years now, but I would just like to see a little bit of difference from who she, the shifter her, and then the person in the uh, the other reality. Hard to believe, but like, that's why I was so freaked out when I met you. It was crazy, because like, where I'm from, you're my favorite fictional character in this like super cool sci-fi TV show. I mean, I've basically like grown up my whole life watching you, so it was crazy to see you in person, like, finally. Your actor is a little bit problematic. <laughs> <laughs> your actor, yeah, I like it there. These people, they're, the Venn diagram of like of shifters is uh, is shifting and then like canceling actor. Uh, I mean, I don't know. You know what I mean? Your your character is problematic. It's just like, OK, all right. Holy shit. So that's kind of just the 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 P's and Q's, you know what I mean? The uh, just sort of the ground floor, the building blocks of what shifting is. And then you kind of get into, you know what I mean, to the world of it. And they've got like insane, like I think the one before had way more, but this one has, you know, she's got 47,000 fucking followers. Uh, the other one like had way more like this is not, you know what I mean? This is not fringe. I mean, it is fringe, but it's happening. Let's talk. Let's let's talk gang stalking. They're a fun bunch, too. It Yeah, it has that vibe to it. You know, it's like I could see these people also like stalking Kristen Stewart or whatever the fuck as well. Well, Barkus is going. Barkus has exited chill mode and it is in destructive mode. Shift your stuff scrolling because I'm going to introduce you to a new shifting method. Well, for some of you it's new. For some of you it isn't new. And I'm talking about the reality style method. It's a method that I came up with when I shifted here to connect with my uh, MCUDR, and it can also be used to shift to other. And I think, like, so she said she shifted here. Like, this comment is, wait, you shifted here? I need to know more! And I think that these people are, like, legit, like, they really... So if I'm not wrong, in her reality, a meteor or comet, SMT was crashing down on her Earth, but before it hit her Earth, she shifted... It's like... I mean, if people want, you know what I mean? If you're just out here, you're creating a fun little fake universe, all good. But these people are like uh, grifting, right? It's like they're telling everybody that it's real. And that like that to me is, you want to talk about problem, Matt, you know what I mean? That's a little weird. Okay, I guess she's going to teach us how to how to actually shift. She's taking too long. Visualize the reality stone being in your heart. You're going to shift to a reality your heart desires to be. And, and a lot of people, and again, this is, uh, uh, I'm just saying, some people call this dreaming. You know what I mean? You get. She's like, get comfortable. 
lay down. <laughs> hey, get comfortable, lay down, get a nice blankie. Okay, what you're going to need for a shift is a really nice blankie, comfortable. Maybe it's something that you've had since childhood. Lay down, get comfortable, close your eyes. And as you breathe, you'll feel yourself um, going into a different dimension, which I think is just, uh, you know, falling asleep. I think these people are confusing falling asleep with shifting to another reality. Keep, fo uh, keep focusing on your breathing as you now are going to visualize that red glow that is surrounding you because of the reality stone. And again, the reality stone is an IP that's already in the MCU. Uh, and she's talking about going to the MCU. Again, it just seems like a little too on the nose. If it was real, they, you know, some, they, someone would create something else. Uh, and also some sort of fog surrounding you. Uh, symptoms are possible in this step. I don't know what symptoms are. Sounds dangerous. As the fog is all around you, you are starting, I can't see, CR, you're in the void state. This is where you shift. Try and use all of your something. What do you hear? Oh, senses. What do you hear, smell, feel, etc.? You'll automatically open your eyes once you've fully shifted. Good luck. I mean, it would be, it, you know what I mean? It would be sick. And I get it. Life sucks. You know what I mean? Life fucking... I'm over here talking about my goddamn heart exploding. I, you know what I mean? I get it. I'd like to go to another fucking universe too sometimes. The comments are like absolutely insane. Actually need their favorite characters. Look, they're such um like shipwreck. So that's her. I don't know if I had another interesting one. But yeah, the whole world is just like absolutely batshit insane. And it's like if you really want to get into, uh, you know, the wormhole of going down and just like watching all of these people's uh, TikToks. And I, I highly suggest it because, you know, what I mean, I love. Tradition. See, this is what I'm saying. Look, everybody, they're all women. And then this one creepy guy, hello. It's like, yeah, I've seen this fucking story before. A bunch of, like, young, susceptible women and a creepy old dude. It, yeah, it's like it's like every cult that's ever existed. We'll see what, what this guy has to say. Ancient Brown nose versus pink. Which is called the visionary tradition, and I've been in the study of um, yesterday. I, I wasn't gonna say anything to make a video about it. Is real. Real. Oh, we found our first guy. That was a dude. Dude alert. Dude alert. Dude alert. Red alert. Dude alert. Also, when the dudes come in, you know it's bad. I think so. This this talk is like saying, hey, if we're all saying it, it must be real, and it's like, yeah. I mean, okay. Anyways, it's fun. I saw, you know what I mean? I have a hard time trying to uh, to actually make fun of them, like, legitimately, because I feel bad for them. Because obviously something terrible, you know what I mean? Something terrible has happened to them in their lives, and they need to escape. And I fully support, you know, that. But, you know, maybe we... I don't know. Maybe we just don't, you know... Maybe we don't uh, uh, pretend that it's real and, you know... I don't know. I don't know what you do. But there you go. There's shift talk, everybody. Uh, we loved, we love, we love shift talk. Uh, 